afternoon. This is a blustery, sunny Sunday in Tallahassee, and I thought it was about time I gave everyone a tour of my boat, Isabella. So hang on, and I will begin from the stern. We'll go on in, side, and then I'll point out the basic features, which I think make this the perfect boat for me. So this is my nimble Arctic 25 foot Yule sailboat. Notice it's got a mizzen mast and it's got a mainsail. And then as we go to the front, you'll see that the jib is nestled very snugly in the bow or the front of the boat. Um, I like it quite a bit because it's got all the features that I need as someone who's sort of at the beginning of a sailboat um, journey. And so it's just about long enough for me to be able to handle it. And got a little complexity as well. So I'm gonna walk on the back of the boat and you can tell immediately that it's relative, it can be, uh, we can handle about four or five people um, at any given point in time. You'll see that the tiller, which is really secure up here, comes down and that's actually how we would steer the boat. Also, what's interesting is we have an outboard gasoline powered. This does not have a, uh, an internal diesel engine, but we have controls on the side outside, and as you'll see, we have controls on the inside as well. So as we're moving around, I'll sort of look as we're going into the cabin. The cabin actually ends up being quite nice because if it's uh, windy or it's really difficult uh, weather, people can get in out of the weather. And you'll notice that in addition to the tiller outside, we have a wheel inside. And it also has all the throttle controls here as well. Meanwhile, we can see outside all the way around if we need to. Um, we have a stove. Actually, we can't see the stove, but that's actually a sink underneath the cup. And we can put out, bring out a, a uh, propane burner and we can cook things if we want. We've got a nice little settee here where people can um, just relax and get out of the weather if they want. And we have this on both sides as well. And you'll notice that we have this thing on the inside. This can actually open up to be a table, but it actually holds the center board, which is retractable, or what they call a retractable keel. So that allows us to be able to sail in very shallow water. I think we're at about two and a half feet when the keel is up. Um, when it's down, it's about four and a half feet is our draft. Um, here we have some of the electronics. We've got a nice rigged Garmin depth finder, and we can put other things in here if we want. It's a chart box, and you can also notice that you can see outside here as well. We've got fans. We have all sorts of nice niceties if we're going to be out all night, including full um, lights on the inside. So as we're going toward the bow of the boat, you can see it's a nice V berth. So you can easily fit two people very comfortably in there. And then all of our electronics and all of our, um, all of our light switches and everything are on the inside just beyond the wheel. And of course, we have a compass, which is important for me because I don't know, don't know how to navigate by sextant. So as we're moving forward or manually, we actually have a small camper head or toilet if you want. So we have ways we can relieve you of any problems or not necessarily problems, but you know, again, all sorts of things happen when you're out at sea and we don't want to, can't come in. And then as you can see, we've got some nice light in the deberth. One of the things I also like about this boat, which is really, really cool, is that when you're lying down, we have a forward hatch, which allows us to see the sky. So this is a nice, beautiful, sunny day, but we can also see the night stars at night and you just lay down and watch them. And I'm gonna bring it down here. This is what it looks like from the bow, heading toward the stern or the aft or the back of the boat. This is what it looks like. So this is Isabella. It's uh, 25 feet at the waterline. Um, it actually is about 30 feet when you include the various stuff that goes at the bow spread that goes off the front, a little bit uh, forward of the waterline, and then the rigging that we have for the mizzen mast, which is, makes a yawl also 
creates a little bit more length, so it handles more like a 30-foot boat. Um, it's actually a great boat for me. Um, still a relatively new sailor. I can handle the jib and I can handle the mainsail and the mizzen mast, but I um, really want to get a lot more experience under my belt before I go to something a little bit bigger. Uh, this is something that will handle heavy seas and as well as heavy winds well, and it'll also put a boat I can take overnight, um, matter of fact, several nights if I want to. So everything is just about ready to go, so thanks for coming along.